Hello guys, my name is James, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Episode 8 of the Umbrella Academy Season 3 starts in 1918 with Reginald Hargreaves waltzing through endless cornfields. Firing a flare in the sky, he seemingly finds the perfect spot and brings in a whole team of people to build Hotel Obsidian. There appears to be some sort of anomaly here, which would explain the White Buffalo Suite, which is disguising something far bigger. Anyway, fast forward in time and the structure is built in its entirety. Hargreaves and his team head up methodically, and with guns in hand, tasks these men to head through to the other side to take out whatever may be inside. Back in a flash, the lead soldier says confidently. Only, when he returns, several gunshots later, he mutters to Hargreaves, all dead. In the present, Five and the others seek refuge in the Hotel Obsidian as the Sparrow Academy is wrecked and seemingly the entire universe now being sucked into the void. Klaus and Reginald are still missing while Sloane and Luther suddenly announce their engagement before everyone. They've decided to make it official at 6pm that very day, and Victor is going to be the best man. Everyone is incredulous, and even more so when Klaus and Reginald show up. Klaus has an announcement of his own, claiming that he's now immortal. Reginald also praises Klaus, claiming he's the only one doing any sort of thinking here. The others can only laugh in disbelief. Klaus tries to encourage Reginald to soften up a little before blasting into his full tirade, eventually leading him to the White Buffalo Room to practice his compliments. Klaus also encourages him to show up at this wedding to pay his respects to Luther. Anyway, the wedding celebrations go ahead, complete with another big dance number, drinks and celebrations. Guys, the world is ending. Maybe do something. Anyway, there's an interval in this whole world-saving malarkey, although there is a flicker of drama when Reginald shows up at the party later that night. While there, Lila and Reginald meet for the first time, as Diego introduces them to one another. Reginald even gives Diego some compliments, telling him he'd have made a great father. At the same time, Ben drowns his sorrows in alcohol, not happy about being shunned regarding the bachelor party. While he mopes about, Victor speaks to Allison and apologizes for lying. Can you forgive me? She asks. No. I don't think I will. Allison replies, scoffing. She's tired of being a sucker and severs their ties completely. Wait, why is Victor apologizing when Allison is in the wrong here? Allison is turning into quite the villain this season. Ha! Huh. Reginald gives his speech in the midst of all this, calling Luther adequate. When Reginald leaves, he heads upstairs to the White Buffalo Room and appears to strike a deal with someone. It's not initially clear who. But as he shakes their hand, Five stumbles away from the party and sees his father in this room acting shadily. Eventually though he stumbles over and passes out, as the last two episodes leave everything wide open for where this may go next.